So welcome back to the Baseball Hut 2, where we talk about different things outside of the Mets. Uh, but we talk about the Mets a little bit in this video, and it's about uh, former Met <clears throat> Jacob DeGrom. Now before we get into this video, please subscribe and like the video and let me know what you think about it. So as you know, Jacob DeGrom signed a five-year deal, a massive amount of money with the Texas Rangers. Now the Texas Rangers right now are one of the best teams in the American League. That one of the great managers managing that team. He sort of has, uh, they've all rallied around him and they've become this big team. Uh, this offense is, has really taken off down there, I guess. A lot of people like MLB Network was talking about how it might be a historically great offense. Which is interesting, it's only been the first two months of the season that they, they would go so far. But, uh, and they've made a lot of moves. They brought in Corey Seager, Marcus Simeon, John Gray, um, Nathan Avaldi. But the biggest move, obviously, was was signing Jacob DeGrom. Now, he'd been with the Mets uh, from 2014 to 2022. <clears throat> He's a two-time National League Cy Young Award winner for 2018-2019. Uh, he finished third in the voting in 2020. Uh, he is... A legendary Met. Now, there's no two ways about it. He's the National League's uh, Rookie of the Year in 2014. Pitched in the World Series for the Mets. Uh, pitched in the playoffs last year for the Mets. The only game they won and he won uh, was for them last year in, in that three-game series uh, loss to the Padres. But he signed with, this, with the Texas Rangers back in December to this massive contract. Now, we all know that he has had a history of being injured he's had he was in, when he was in the minor leagues after the Mets had drafted him he had Tommy John surgery so already when he came up he was having all kinds of issues with his arm he's had to deal with all kinds of injuries uh he was on the IL back then it was the DL in 2014 he missed the last six weeks to eight weeks of 2016 <clears throat> he missed the time in 2018 with the Mets Swinging the bat, uh, 2019, same thing. Uh, 2021, he had one of the great all-time, one of the great all-time first halves to where his ERA was just above one. He was on pace to be having one of the greatest <clears throat> seasons in the history of baseball and certainly one of the great seasons post-1968. But he was he got hurt and he missed the second half of the Mets season and the Mets season basically was flushed down the drain. <clears throat> In spite of the fact that they did not have a great offense that year, he was their best player and he was their best player uh, for most of those years. Now last year, uh, with this big anticipation with this new manager. Max Scherzer being here, uh, some really good offensive players from other teams, some veteran players coming in. There was a lot of hope that he was going to have a big season. And right before the season began, he was injured. Um, and he missed the first four months. And didn't come back until August of last year. And that first month, if you watched it as a Mets fan, he pitched great. I mean, he pitched as as great as you can possibly pitch. Now, the Mets had played a doubleheader against the Dodgers that Sunday. That was one of the biggest days of the year here at City Field here in Queens. It was just awesome. Um, one of the biggest days we've had here in a very long time. And he pitched great that day against the Dodgers. He pitched great in the in the nightcap. He was awesome. <clears throat> in September, he did not have a good uh, September. Was a big reason he had a, he pitched a bad game against the Oakland A's and in, in, out in California. He just wasn't he wasn't himself in 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 September, which people kind of blame him as well. Scherzer not pitching well uh, against the Braves. Which was which really cost him the division. 
when it came right down to it. Now, like I said, he's he's signed with the Rangers. Uh, he had some issues in spring training to where he was dealing with some kind of injury. He was ready for the season. He was ready for the start of the season. He had a few starts against the again uh, with the Rangers, and then he got hurt. And he had has had to deal with an inflamed elbow. Well, today they announced, or well, the Rangers announced that he is going to be placed on the sixty day injured list. Now people are saying, well, he's already missed forty days. It's just a it's just about paperwork. But you don't want to be on the 60-day IL. I mean, it doesn't say good things. And according to the general manager there, Chris Young, former Met, former Royal, former Padre, he said in an interview discussing the 60-day IL that uh, he's not close to being ready. So he's dealing with another injury. Uh, It is, as a fan of his, uh, it's very disheartening. You'll see it because uh, these injuries will probably cost his chances of getting in the Hall of Fame. And that's a shame. He's had sort of an odd career if you look at it. Um, not too many great pitchers have as many no decisions as he's had. And pitched as great as he has pitched. Specifically with the New York Mets. And, and not have more wins. Personally, he should have over 100 wins. He barely has 72 wins with the Mets. Um, but he, he's sort of snake bit. Mets didn't have good bullpens. Then they, they never hit for him. Um, but I feel bad for him as a fan of his. Um, I feel bad that he cannot get on the field. Um, I know there were reasons why he left the Mets. He wanted more money. He wanted more years. And that's why the Mets didn't give him more years. Because they knew nobody knows you better. Nobody knows you better than the team you've played for your whole life. A team that's drafted you, cultivated you in the minor league system, uh, taught you how to throw breaking pitches, how to take care of your body during the season, all this stuff. Nobody knows you better than your than your your original team. Because uh, they, they know you when you're basically a, a baby, a pup, a puppy. So the Mets knew, and they knew his physical situation. They knew it would be uh, would not be a good situation giving him a five-year deal. And the Mets went on and gave Justin Verland their two-year deal. Um, and the Mets were willing to give DeGrom three years, two years, three years. They weren't going to go five years knowing his his medical history. And you're seeing it being played out right away with the Texas Rangers down there. I mean, at this rate, I feel my heart goes out to him. But now, if you're a Mets fan, we've had to deal with some stuff here in New York with the Mets not playing as well as they should considering the talent and the money they've spent on this team. But they did not make a mistake Signing the Grom to a long-term deal and having been stuck uh, with this kind of contract. Well, please, of course, uh, subscribe to the Baseball Hood too, and let me know what you think about this video. What do you think about Jacob Degrom again having to deal with so many injuries and and having to be have gotten hurt again and being out for a long period of time for his new team, the Texas Rangers? So, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hood too. Thank you. Have a good day, and I'll see you later.